come to this video we will uh, use word cloud or basically we'll create or generate word cloud in python we will use a large data uh, that is in a text format and convert it to a word cloud so in doing that we need just a little bit look at the fundamentals so what is word cloud word cloud used for large text if you have a large text and you want to present that text in a visual way by focusing on the important words in that text the words that repeated multiple times and people seem interested in, in that phrase or a word then this will come in a large text uh, and uh, usually data are coming from social media is a good target for that looking at what people are tweeting about and what are the common things they're talking about it customer uh, feedback for on a survey which has an open text for example asking customers about what to improve what they are happy about and things like that these are a text that you need to analyze and uh, word cloud can help uh, of course there are so many techniques to do that word cloud just one step in a big process of uh, managing large data but given that we already using python and pandas for data analytics we will look at word cloud also can be a website content that you would like to look at it or can be an article or anything any large text that you would like to analyze it looks like this when you generate a word cloud it gives you pictures with different words in it the, the, the size of the word is uh, uh, indication of how many times that word been mentioned by different people uh, in, in your survey or in your report or in your article and that gives an indication of interest and people are interested on those keywords and then the next step you can do further analysis focusing on those uh, areas or the topics that uh, include those those words why people use it uh, the different reasons one of it it makes uh, an impact you can easily visualize and show the things that are important to the people and that will make an impact uh, it's easy to understand just by looking at it you can see based on the size of the word or phrase uh, that gives you indication this is important for, for the people or the, the talking about it and they need to discuss it further and can easily be shared is an image just you copy the image and send it in an email or post it social media or do whatever you want to do with it now how to install your um, a word cloud on, on your uh, python if your python already has word cloud installed that's fine if it's not installed then you need to install it so the package that you need to install we, we know in python we use uh, pip uh, to install uh, uh, any package you can then use the word install and then the package name so pip install the package name uh, for this case, it is pip install word cloud because our package is word cloud. So word cloud is, is, is the package. Now, if you are using Jupyter Notebook or Microsoft, through Microsoft Azure or local installation and you want to install it from within uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook, then the only difference is you have uh, uh, this sign examination mark or sign at the beginning that will allow you to run the pip inside the Jupyter without uh, the examination mark it will not uh, accept it and it will give you an error now the source or the data that we're going to use we will be using data from word.data.word uh, and we'll be focusing on customer uh, reviews of Amazon products. Amazon has so many products, as you know, and what the opinion of the customers about this product. And we will focus on the text uh, component of that uh, opinion. Uh, 
so we'll do that and you can go to this website and download the source uh, data source that we're looking at now to import uh, to start your process you need to import pandas for sure because we were reading a csv file and then you need to uh, also import a uh, word cloud and uh, stop stop words from uh, word cloud and stop words are those words that people use very uh, often like for example uh, if you look at the letter a a car a hospital uh, the or the the uh, about uh, so many words that we use in every almost every sentence there's something as are has these are there so you want to remove them from from your analysis you don't want uh, any of them to come as the highest one because it's not really the focus on of your analysis then also there is a, a function or properties called stop words that we can also import so this line from the word cloud will import the word cloud function and the property stop uh, words okay and this is a list of different stop words that uh, should be uh, eliminated from our text and then because we're going to draw a, a plot on on the screen so we're importing uh, matplotlib which we library which we used before i'm sure you have seen it before if you're going through our uh, videos you have used it and you know it very well the next line we're just reading the file and we're storing it in in a data frame called df you can call it whatever you want to call it and this is the file which we download if you look into that file and look at the shape of that file you will find around 1597 at the moment i downloaded it and used it that was the size maybe that uh, will go up or down i don't know uh, but there are 27 columns in that one so many columns i want you just to look at two columns of that uh, large number of columns i cannot display the 27 columns but but there are two there but one is more important the one is reviews.txt this is a text for each cus each customer put his uh, opinion about uh, about uh, the products and uh, and this is one the other one is the title which i'm not too much interested in that one i just want to focus on the reviews.txt and if we look at this one for example it's more than just what you see on the screen why because you have these three dots here telling us there's more than this is what we can only display using using uh, now if you look at it in details we're looking at this one now uh, this is the customer feedback and you can just have uh, a read through that one if you want it it a uh, customer is talking about his or her experience with with the products and things like that. it's open-ended uh, answers in uh, unstructured not really structures uh, import so it's challenging to to analyze it uh, the way we do with numbers which become very easy you add them you aggregate them you find the average the standard deviation you can with the numbers but here this has so many things in it. it has also the feeling of the customers the opinion of the customers the different things there and so uh, word cloud is one step to get you some uh, insight of what really important to the to the your customers here is the code remaining code and we will look at the live code we will run it and see how it works but i just want to take you through this one so you understand it so the first one we're just creating a variable here called stop words in lowercase and we're creating a set of stop words which we uh, imported if you remember here we imported stop words here so those stop words are a list or a set now becoming a set uh, of of uh, of words that will be excluded so that line basically create a variable called stop words and that use the list of stop words 
and convert them to a set so we can later easily uh, work with them we will not do any any uh, sophisticated thing with that set it's just we're using as as, as a one of the parameters we'll look at it now here we create a function you can call it anything uh, I called it my word cloud whatever but this function take two parameters one is a must that means we need to supply that one otherwise the function will not work and the other one is optional uh, if if you know this already that's that's good but if you didn't know that the optional uh, parameter or variable usually has a value equal none title equal none that means I can run this function I can call it by providing only data and not providing anything for the title but if I provide that will be fine but if you do not provide it's okay so that allows this one to be optional parameter now we go inside the function and we using creating a new variable or we'll call it word cloud lowercase and this one is calling the function word cloud where is that word cloud coming from here Can, this is the one we use it, which we imported from word cloud we imported this one so this function we're using now requires so many parameters and those parameters are only for us to set up how our cloud will, will look like so we can give it a background here it's white we can set the stop boards as the stop boards means ignore if the stop boards uh, in your calculation with the maximum words we look at only the top 200 but you can make it top 100 top 50 top 10 whatever you want to do yeah and that will display how many words on the cloud the maximum words we will change those numbers you will see how it works maximum font size means the largest word or phrase in your uh, in your um, uh, graph how big it is what is the size of that font okay and scaling based on the size and random uh, st uh, state is one now this is the parameters that you can change and we'll change them and then you uh, you apply a fun another function to this one which generate using the data str data means convert this data to a string okay and generate for that one generate the the word cloud so this one will find the list of words that used widely uh, in the text and each one has a number that indicate how many times it was repeated so this is calling that function and the data will be stored into word cloud so we have now word cloud next thing we need to plot it on the screen so we'll create a figure using plot.figure and here we're putting figure size so i'm putting 20 20 that means the size of of our plot and we can make this one bigger or smaller as we like and you can see to do that i don't want to display the axis the x and y so i used off here and then i said if title we said this is optional yeah if title is provided is data for the title is provided then add the title okay and that will add the title and then show the word cloud on the screen yeah these two lines will show the word cloud on the, on the screen this will plot it and this will show it okay now that's done the next thing we need to do we need to call the function and here comes this line here which uh, i'm having challenge uh, showing you but here's the line i'm calling the function my word cloud passing to it uh, one column from df which review dot text okay then applying to it drop in a i don't need any in a if data is not available ignore it otherwise if i have large in a and i do not drop in a in a will be one of the words that will be displayed on the 
cloud. Okay, let's now have a look at the live one, and here is our live one, and we're looking at it. This is the import which we all spoke about it. It's there, so we'll just run it and look at the shape. Correct. And now here is our function, and we just run that function. It display this uh, cloud for us. You can start now play with it. You want to see only say 50 words. Yeah, you see you have so many here. I want only 50, and run it. I get only 50. See the number went went into into down. You want only the top 10. You do that. It gives you only the top 10. So you can decide how many maximum words you would like to to do. Uh, see things like one. We can add it maybe to the stop word. Now maybe you can add it to the stop word you want. Then that will el eliminate them from from our uh, from our list. But now they are not into uh, the stop word. Okay. So let's put this one back to 200. Now the maximum font. You know the size of the bigger font and uh, the rest of it. I think now you have a good idea about how it works. Now, if your column that you're looking at is different, you just basically need to change this one and put the column name here. And then it will display the, uh, the, uh, the word cloud for that uh, one. Now here, if remember, we have something called title, I think, yeah? Title, and run this. See, this is using the title, uh, uh, as we said in our uh, example, we have uh, reviews, titles, and we have reviews. Now we applied the same, giving us the similar uh, similar uh, outcome, I think very similar outcomes. Okay, so I hope you you find this one useful and you start uh, playing with it and creating word cloud uh, uh, representation of your, of your data. Now after you create the word cloud, the other techniques you can use to look uh, more, more uh, in depth into your uh, data. Thank you.